Amazing new time zone and reality everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Way and today is another art time lapse video. This time lapse is of the fan art I made for a game called Ooblets. Ooblets is a game that is like Harvest Moon meets Pokemon meets Animal Crossing. So it's a big, cute farming game. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll take my favorite Ooblet and make fan art of it in a voxel format. The goal was going to be to take some of my favorites and make it in a voxel style and put them all in a terrarium. Since it is farming and terrarium is about plants, I thought, yeah, I'll mix well. So the first one I made was Gloopy Longlegs, which is my number one favorite at this point in time for Ooblets. And for those who want to know more about Ooblets, you can check out the links in the, de the description. They have Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, a Discord, which I highly recommend joining, a Patreon, and a blog with devlogs. They just recently released one for May. Definitely go check it out. And Ooblets is an indie game made by two people called Non Player Cat and Per Plamps. So they are some amazing people. And just to clarify, no, this is not sponsored or anything by them. I just really love the game and support it. And I really admire all they're doing to make a game. So, yeah. And I think, let's see. Two years ago, I had started this project for making several ooblets for Terrarium in a 16 to the third power. So that's 16 by 16 by 16 voxel space or it might have been 32, I can't remember. And then a year ago, I decided that, you know what, I'll revisit it, because I didn't actually finish it. So first I'm starting off with my base shapes and I'm working from the ground up. So I'm starting at the shoes here. You'll see I'm adding a hole in the shoes. I'm actually adding a hole for the feet. Now, even though we have no idea what the feet look like for gloopy long legs, and honestly, it doesn't even matter since you won't even see it, Personally, I like to add or think of, think of functionality before style and design. So I make sure to get all of my base shapes down, sometimes my base colors, before I try to think about what it should look like. Because to me, it's a lot easier to add design and style to something that functions than it is to add functionality to something that's just fancy or looks cool. That's just me though, that's how I think and that's how I work. So even though you did see I added some colors on the legs here, the little stripes, that's because I already made a small model and I knew where the colors were gonna go and I was like, okay, I can add the colors here. And you'll notice I'm working in the monochrome colors. That is because I like to add more, so I like to figure out where the colors are going first. So if I can figure out where some of the colors are going and just use this, some of these colors as a placeholder while I'm working on the model, then it's a lot easier for me to add the colors later. Because in Magic Voxel, which is free by the way, I can just use the paint bucket tool, select a color, and for example, replace that white for the shoes, replace it with blue, and replace some of the light gray with a, a purple just by using the bucket tool. So I always like to use placeholder colors when I'm designing. This one's a lot easier if I have to remove something, then I don't have to worry about the colors too much. Like, oh, but where's this, where's this color gonna go now? I'm not sure if, if it should be there. I'm really not sure, <laughs> you know, and things like that. So I highly recommend doing that, just working in monochrome or grayscale colors first. That's just me though. You know, you gotta do what works best for you. And then once I have my base shapes down, I like to go in and sometimes I'll add color. Other times I will just switch them around. So here I'm just switching the colors around to fit better. It looked kind of weird, the place color, place holder colors I had. So I just switched them around a little bit. And then once I did that, I like to go in and define my shapes and add detail. Once I have the basics down, I just go in and like I said, add detail. So you can see I rounded off the head a little bit. And soon, at some point, I will run off the shoes. And if you notice, this is 126 by 126 by 126 scale in Magic Voxel, which is the max limit you can go in the Voxel ed editor. And I thought, since I'm redoing it, I might as well go for the biggest scale 
and work with all the voxels I have to go for the most amount of detail. Now, Ooblets is a low poly game, so it's not super high res like some of your really popular games today, but that's okay. Low poly is, also, is a really awesome style, but because of this, there's not crazy amounts of detail. As you can see, there's only about five or so colors. You can see that on the palette over there. So because of that, I kind of like the small version I made better. I feel it fits more with the look of Ooblets. This just kind of looks, to me anyway, weird. Almost like it was overkill with the size. I'm really proud of the shoes. I thought they looked really good for shoes and fit well, but I couldn't really get the shape right. I could see that Gloopy Long Legs was kind of a bean shape. And even in the small version, the 16 or the 32, I struggled with the bean shape, but I actually got it to work and look good. But with this, it was so much bigger. And of course I was rounding everything off. If I just kept everything square, it wouldn't have been so bad, but I made everything rounded and cut off edges. So it was a little harder for me to understand how to make it look good and look proper to my standards anyway. So I struggled a little bit with this. I messed around with it for a bit, but I got it to where I was happy. I thought it was decent. <laughs> and a Voxelogs I follow, they were called YB2 Crazy, but now they're just called, well, their name is Zach, but they're at Voxels on Twitter. They are a Voxel artist. They had said a while back to try to work with the Voxels. So instead of trying to convert something say round, for example, and voxels, try to can try to make it voxels in that style. They've said it a lot better than I did. I'll see if I can find the tweet and put it in the description. I'll leave a link. But the point was work with the squares, not against them. So that's what I tried to do. I just wanted to experiment. But like I said, I do like the smaller one better. I just think it fits better with the ooblet feel. But who knows, maybe I'll go with the fully blocky version. I do like both styles of fully blocky, half in between, and this version of just all out. You can see I went back to the inside of the shoes just to see where the feet would be, where they get cut off. Cause you know, not sh not all shoes just end at a point. Sometimes they, well no, they do end at a point. What I mean is they're not just flat at the end. They taper to a point. And before I add color, I took a screenshot of the square version, which you can see here. I did not get a picture of the rounded version, but this is before I added color. And then next is just to add color. And like I said, it's really easy. I just click, click my color, click the bucket tool and fill everything out. Usually for the colors, I use a Google Chrome extension. It's like Colorzilla or Zilla or something like that. You can just find them. And I color pick the images for the precise hex code going to Krita the hex code in there and then just move them over into magic voxel so they're precise colors so you can really get a sense of how big and how small gloopy long legs is compared to the old and new versions so like i said the new was on the right and no new is on the left i don't know why i did it this way and the left one is the old one I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which was your favorite? Do you like the highly detailed version or the simplified version? Just to clarify the simplified version, I did not have the little bubble on there, but I do have it modeled. I just forgot to render it. And then when it comes to the terrariums on the left, Gloopy does have a little, <laughs> Gloopy, Gloopy Long Legs does have a little bubble, which I did render, but it ended up making them look darker than they actually are. I had a hard time getting that to work. So in, on the right, I just removed it. And for the plants, I look at some of the plants in the pictures on Ooblet's website. And I took like one or two of them and roughly modeled some plants based off of them. I could have modeled more, but I didn't want the plants to take away from gloopy long legs. I wanted them to be kind of the accent and just extra details. The main star here is gloopy long legs in a terrarium. I think I will go back to the smaller version though, as I can fit more ooblets in a terrarium than I can in this bigger size. Plus, like I said, it just works so much better look uh, visual wise. But otherwise it is finished. And here's a little sneak peek of a ooblet I made. A vox, another voxel one, I mean. 
This was quite a while back when I was still doing the smaller versions. This ooblet is called Fleeble, and this little fan art creation is based off of that. But either way, go check out Ooblets and the creators in the description below. Check out all of their links. They're amazing people and they're really friendly. Their community is awesome. And I will see you later in another video. Who knows? Maybe the next one will be another Ooblet creation. I just want to get back to this idea. I think it's, it's pretty fun. Either way, I'll see you all later. Bye.